The family of Gustave Audin's SPP Donat, born in Lavery and resided at Independent City, announces transitioning into new life on January 8, 2024, at 11.38 p.m. He was 84 years old. He was predeceased by his wife, Celia Morrill Donat of Independent City. He was also predeceased by his brothers, Whitworth Francis and Kennedy Francis. Left to mourn his children, James Hildreth Donat Sr., Rufina Donat, Claudia Donat Barker and husband Michael Barker and family, Josepha Donat and his wife, Sadia Donat and family, Patrick Donat and his wife, Anne Jean Donat Defarge and family, Aurelia Delma Donat, Valerie Donat, Melissa Emmanuel and family, Cyrilia John, Priscilla Oscar, Martin Edward and family, Shoma Leos, Felicia Schalmine, Audience Schalmine, Shertal Donat, Gustave Schalmine, Quincy Schalmine, 27 grandchildren, four great grandchildren, his sister Velina Francis and family, brothers Alfonso Francis and family, Peterson Mark, other persons left to mourn are his sisters in law, Annette Francis and Irma Francis, Tecla Delaire, Lorna Alexander, Berius Alexander, Claudia Alexander, his close cousins, Orita Donat, Ansel Donatien, Presil Henry, Peter Donat, Errol Donatien, nieces and nephews, the Donat, Donatien, and Francis families of Labry and Castries, the Alexander and Thomas families of Labry and Duga, the McDonald families of P.I., Sir Julian R. Hunt and family, the staff of Hunt's International, Moses of Joe Batteries, Sheldon Victor Sr., Dion McCoy, Claudia O'Reilly, Ernesto Emmanuel, Margaret Edward, Trevor Brasso Jean, Ricardo Dennis, neighbors of Lane 3 of Independent City, special thanks to the doctors, Dr. Chris Nathaniel, Dr. Sagan Tobias, caregivers, Mary Augustine, Nurse Jessica Joseph, Nurse Amy Inglis Marvin, the NICE program, the funeral service for Gustave Audin's SPP Donat will take place on Friday, 26 January 2024 at 2pm at the Minor Basilica of the Immaculate Conception. A special collection will be taken up for the retirement home for priests. The body will be laid to rest at the Shock Cemetery. May his soul rest in peace.